Hello, Gemini. Welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at how you and the person that you're thinking about or connecting with are feeling towards each other. What's the energy between you? What's going on in your connection? As always, these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Gemini watching. So keep that in mind. Take what resonates. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance because sometimes those messages can resonate more. All right, so let's jump right in for Gemini. All right, for Gemini. What do we need to know for Gemini regarding love and relationships? What do we need to know? We're going to be looking at your energies, Gemini, your person's energies, and the energies between you. So let's start with the energies between you. What are the energies between Gemini and their person spirit? What are the energies between Gemini and their person at this time? We have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. What are the energies between Gemini and their person? Oh, Eight of Wands and then the Ace of Pentacles reverse. So a bit of a I don't know. Eight of Wands is the opposite of these two things. So what I'm what I'm seeing here is momentum, despite the fact that something has been slow to develop or delayed. There's an opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Pentacles reverse, an opportunity that is slowly coming together, delayed. There are obstacles. I mean, this isn't new for Gemini's, but the Eight of Wands is telling me that there is some sort of movement action here that's happening this could be communication this can be someone making some sort of a move and maybe it'll turn these um pentacles around here what can you tell me about gemini's energy what can you tell me about gemini's energy gemini's energy and feel free to flip these energies gemini i'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other but you can flip the energies Tell me about Gemini's energies. We have the hangman reverse. Tell me about Gemini's energies. And the three of pentacles reverse. Mm, interesting. Gemini, I get the sense that if it were up to you, this would not be the case. Like uh, the situation that you're in right now. If it were up to you, it would be very different. Three of pentacles reverse. This could be and interference of some sort, um, a group of people that can't get along or two people that can't collaborate, can't work together. Um, and the hangman reverse, I'm almost getting like, you wish you were free of this block, whatever this block is, or whatever's preventing you from being able to build something with someone, you wish that that block was just removed. We'll see what that's all about when we clarify, but. Tell me about Gemini's person. Tell me about Gemini's person. What do we need to know about Gemini's person? What do we need to know about this person that Gemini is or will be dealing with? Wow, we got three. Okay, we have the Strength card, Leo Energy, Seven of Swords, and the King of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Well, the King of Cups would never use this approach. I mean, they normally don't need to, the Seven of Swords. Uh, they're usually um, very open and willing to put themselves out there. They don't, they don't necessarily or typically hide or do things behind the scenes or behind people's backs. So maybe this is something that they have to do, though. Maybe this is part of this strength card. Maybe they need to use a different approach, a different method here. Okay. Let's break this down a little bit. Let's get some clarity about these energies. For Gemini. Oops. Let's do that again. For Gemini. Clarity insight things on these energies.
Well, let's first start with these stones that are reversed. Tell me about the Knight of Stones reverse and the Ace of Stones reverse. Why are these two energies showing up like this? Knight of Stones reverse. Strength. Leo energy. Can I get one more? Why is the Knight of Stones reverse and the Ace of Stones reverse? Why are these energies showing up? Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. I think this is someone that's fearful. Stuck, perhaps. Weighing their options, trying to figure out which way to go, what's the best approach. This could be you or your person. Um, someone might be um, juggling a lot right now as well with the Two of Pentacles. Maybe they're going back and forth about, you know, trying to get things done, you know, very busy. But I get the sense that this is someone that's almost like doubtful. Which option do I choose? Because, and I wonder if they are stalling, to be perfectly honest with you. Because I feel like that's why these stones are reversed. Someone hasn't made this decision just yet. And it could be because they don't have the courage to do so. You could be dealing with a Leo or someone with a Leo in their chart. Tell me more, Spirit, about this connection. Warm, kind, and affectionate. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's Leo again showing up. And strong bonds, family, union, partnership. Strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. So it could be that someone could be stuck in a family tie or, or a bond of some sort. Maybe their family influences them or a family member influences their decision making. Maybe they're thinking about family when they think about this decision. I think this warm and affectionate um, energy is the King of Cups here. I think this is someone that has a lot of affection for you, Gemini, or vice versa. Um, but I don't think that's the problem. I don't think the feelings are the problem. Um, bottom of the deck, we have judgment call. Exactly. I feel like someone has to make a decision here. And it could be anything. It could be a decision to overcome their fear. It could be a decision to uh, break free of a situation. Take some sort of action. Communicate, right? Let's look at this Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Gemini? Why is the Eight of Wands here for Gemini? What can you tell me about this Eight of Wands? Yeah, Page of Swords. I feel like this is communication. Someone needs to do this. Someone's thinking about doing this. What's at the bottom of the deck? The star. Aquarius energy, hope, faith, renewal. Maybe this is a conversation that will heal a situation. Maybe this is someone having faith that this conversation will end up in some sort of uh, recovery, right? Maybe they recover something they've lost or they're able to express themselves in a way where there are no regrets. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I feel like this... This person has something to say. So why is the hangman reverse here for you? Maybe you already know about this block. Maybe you wish they would just get over it. Why is the hangman reverse? Why is the hangman reverse? Nine of wands. Gemini, you've been waiting a long time. Maybe you have a lot to stress about or worry about here. I see you kind of on edge or at least feeling a bit like maybe you can't trust something. Tell me about the hangman reverse. Why is the hangman reverse? Six of cups and this is due to the past. This could be a soulmate you're dealing with. There's a queen of cups, king of cups, queen of cups on the board. A lot of love here between you. Sweet memories, affection. Either the past is something that you, you know, has caused you to be a nine of wands energy. 
or maybe you just don't want to give up on the past despite the fact that you've been waiting for some time oh ace of cups tell me about this three of pentacles reverse tell me about this three of pentacles reverse what what do we need to know about this three of pentacles reverse two of wands you know about this choice this path that they need to take um i i, I almost sense you kind of waiting for this person Maybe you know there's a third party, or maybe you know that there's an interference. Maybe you've been waiting to build a foundation, get something started here with the Page of Wands. Yeah, there's the Three of Wands, but instead you've been waiting. Waiting for this to happen. Can I get one more for the Three of Pentacles reverse? Can you get one more, please, for the Three of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, Four of Pentacles. I feel like someone possibly has been holding back. Or you just been... Actually, no. I think you've been holding on despite the fact that you've been waiting. High, high Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Maybe your intuition is telling you to hold on here. That there is some sort of reward at the end of this or something worth waiting for. Tell me more about Gemini. Tell me more about Gemini. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Gemini? What do we need to know about Gemini? What do we need to know about Gemini? You are what I've been searching for all along. So... I think for you, Gemini, this is someone that you see yourself with, um, someone that you feel some sort of connection to. The path I am on is leading me straight to you, is at the bottom of the deck, definitely. I feel like you, um, there's a purpose to your waiting. This person must mean a lot to you. There must be history here, um, soulmate type energy, or just like a very strong connection that kind of keeps you holding on. Despite the fact that you've been waiting and maybe not much has happened or, you know, you haven't really gotten any confirmation as to something, you know, happening. Now, I feel like there is going to be some sort of communication here with the Page of Swords. Your person has something to say or you have something to say to your person. Um... And I don't know, I feel like, let's get one more for you. Maybe you are observing each other online because Page of Swords with the Eight of Wands could definitely symbolize online or the web. What else can you tell me about Gemini's energy? What else can you tell me? about Gemini's energy spirit. What else can you tell me about Gemini's energy? What else can you tell me? The moth. Oh yeah, you are drawn, uh, you are drawn to this person or that you're connected to this person. What's this? The camel, uh, the survivor, the resourceful person. It's almost like you know you're in it for the long haul, Gemini, but I'm not sure why. There must be something that I'm missing that I don't know that's like not in the cards, but you would know more than me. The moth is impulsive, hasty, wishful. The moth is sure the grass is greener on the other side. We're attracted to easy solutions or anything shiny and new. This can lead to unfinished projects, disappointment or burnout. Life is complex. No matter the illusion, no one is exempt from the trials and tribulations of this great journey. Practice seeing life as an infinite mystery, rather than wishing it was easier or different. But what I got with this energy was, you know, that saying, drawn like a moth to a flame. Um, I feel like you've been drawn to something, and also maybe you're feeling a bit, 
like impatient or perhaps you know maybe you wonder if this is all an illusion uh, maybe you wonder if this will just lead to disappointment but i feel like this is all part of the journey and this is no news to gemini okay this should not be news to any of you watching <laughs> especially if you've been um following my channel for some time so let's look at your person i do feel this person is very sweet here with the king of cups very loving compassionate kind energy but the strength card is here on their side so maybe they're the ones actually i shouldn't say maybe i definitely feel they're the ones that need to gain this courage tell me about strength tell me about the strength card why is strength here the three of swords oh yeah maybe they're um fearing that they're going to be hurt maybe they have been heartbroken um maybe they are heartbroken by what's happened and i don't know what kind of history you have with this person but maybe the history also between you is kind of a problem maybe they were hurt by what happened as well or they hurt you and so it's harder to come come forward tell me about the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here why is the seven of swords here oh yeah the world and the ten of wands Oh yeah, I feel like this person, when they think about you, when they think about this connection, they did something wrong. They did something they shouldn't have done. And they still carry it with them. This person knows that they did something wrong. Maybe they deceived you. There's death at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio energy. Maybe things ended between you and this person in like the worst way possible. Or they had some part to play in the ending that you had. Um... I think that this person has been burdened by guilt perhaps with this ten of wands maybe they feel responsible for what happened but they're thinking about a new beginning despite the fact that there probably has already been an ending here with the death card they're thinking about a new beginning with the world tell me about the king of cups what can you tell me move this king of cups up so you can actually see what's going on here wow page of cups oh yeah this person might definitely uh, bring you an apology tell me about the king of cups or just express how they feel tell me about the king of cups tell me about the king of cups the five of swords seven of wands oh yeah this is definitely an apology this is definitely an apology this person i feel like maybe they think that you will be guarded against them defensive wary with the seven of wands maybe because of the history you have with them because again five of swords seven of swords something happened something that this person feels responsible for and that's why the page of cups is here um I think that's why courage is needed whoever this is courage is needed because oh yeah seven not seven what i'm saying eight of pentacles the wheel of fortune and the king of pentacles um this person has a lot to make up they know they have to make it up to you gemini they have to and it's going to take work and effort to make it up to you to turn this around with the wheel of fortune king of pentacles though at the bottom of the deck i wonder if this person has uh provides for a family or has a family or something like that let's get some insight on them tell me about this person that gemini is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about their energies what do we need to know about their energies what do we need to know about this person we move these down here. I can just put them up here. What do we need to know about this person? Well, I know they're regretful, but I wonder if we'll get a little bit more. What do we need to know about this person, this person's energies towards uh, Gemini? What do we need to know? Please wait for me just a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. They know that they're responsible for this holdup, Gemini. I must confess that I am in love with you. Ooh, a confession. Maybe they haven't told you how they feel, Gemini. Gemini. I don't know why I can't talk today. Maybe they just haven't told you how they feel. 
that they have these feelings towards you. Although, I don't know, that has to change pretty soon because I I just get this, this with the moth especially, like maybe you're just feeling a bit, I don't know, like erratic, like something has to happen soon or you'll bounce. Tell me more about this person's energy. Oh, the fire ant, oh yeah. Tension, aggression, conflict, drama. I feel like this person has something going on um, in their life or this is what they worry about with you. Oh yeah, they're definitely worried with the rabbit. The rabbit is very fearful, anxious, worried. <laughs> so I think they're worried about the past between you. Whatever happened between you and this person, it has to have been bad enough for this person to be kind of scared to approach you. Now the please wait for me just a little bit longer could also indicate these two together that this person is going through something. Maybe they're stuck somewhere or they're going through a situation that has been difficult. Tell me more about this person that Gemini is, has or will be dealing with. Tell me more about this person. Journey, number 10, another 10. Tens are all about completion, ending, cycles. This person is on a journey. And I think that's probably why they need you to wait just a little bit longer. I think they have their own thing going on, but for some reason your intuition has told you this or you know that that's why you're waiting, something like that. I'm not sure how you know that. Maybe you are friends on social media. Maybe you talk to this person, just not in a romantic sense. But I feel like you know that this person is on a journey or going through something. And this fire sign energy is also kind of a symbol for action, passion, creativity. That's fire qualities, you know. The f fire signs are typically um, go-getters, take action, very creative, very expressive. I think that this person, um, for whatever reason, they're typically, it's almost like they're typically a king of cups, but they have to be a king of wands here. What else can you tell me about this other person? person that Gemini is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this person I'm taking a risk oh that's definitely fire energy bottom of the deck I regret what happened so what I'm getting here Gemini this person somehow for some for whatever reason um you know maybe the history with, between you like I said but talking to you is risk they think it's risky they think it's risky and honestly between you and me I think in their mind, this would not be successful. It's almost like they think that as soon as they show up with this page of cups or this cup in hand, you're going to be like more of the same. I don't think so. Or if you think you can just walk right back here, you're wrong. You know, like it's almost like they picture you like this because of what's happened. It's a no automatic. No, you know, that's what they think anyway. I think they're hoping that if they are honest with you, um, things will change. But I have to say, this is a page of swords. So this could be a simple, hey, how are you doing? How have you been, Gemini? <laughs> it doesn't have to be this big, you know, declaration. Although I feel like this person does have to confess something to you. I just, if they have such fear about opening up communication or just being honest imagine having to confess i just feel like it, it might be a little too much for this person i think they need a little bit of reassurance otherwise i'll leave it here gemini thank you so much for watching like the video if you enjoy the reading subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in another video very soon take care